All right, so today I've got a grocery haul for you. I went to Aldi and got most of my groceries. I spent around $200 there. And then I went to Hy-Vee just to get a few things that I couldn't get at Aldi. And I also took advantage of the awesome sales they had this week. So let's get right into it. So I did get some tomatoes. I got a couple different kinds from Aldi. We'll do Aldi first. Uh, these are cherry tomatoes on the vine. And then these are like the multicolored cherry tomatoes. I really like these, like the multicolored ones for Caprese. Connor loves to snack on cherry tomatoes, so I'm sure those will have no problem getting eaten. I just realized that there's a moldy one in there, so why did I pick that one? I don't know. I can never go to Aldi without getting strawberries. <laughs> My kids will eat them so fast, and then I also have a recipe that I want to make with strawberries. So I got two pounds of those. I'm just noticing, too, that there's a couple of these that are moldy, but I feel like sometimes when it's the summer and they're super ripe, you can't really avoid that. Um, I also got two packages of blackberries. Connor will eat these very quickly. He really loves blackberries. I do find though that blackberries will go south very fast if you don't eat them right away, especially if you wash them. I also got a bag of lemons. I was running low on both lemons and limes. Aldi is probably my favorite place to get citrus fruits like lemons and limes. I just think they're a great price there. I got one seedless cucumber. And then I also got a bag of coleslaw. So my Aldi hasn't always carried bagged coleslaw. They've always had like obviously heads of cabbage, but it wasn't until I would say the last year or so that they've started carrying the coleslaw blend and then also the shredded um, iceberg lettuce. So I usually pick those up now when I'm there. Um, what? There's a dead frog by my hoop. Okay, you can get the shovel and throw it out in the woods. I said get the shovel. In the garage, just hanging up. Huh? Go throw it in the woods. Yeah, go throw it in the woods. There's a dead frog in the driveway. This is how we learn how to do things. <laughs> Get a shovel and throw it in the woods. I don't know what Alright, I got a package of peppers. I like getting the triple pack, the red, yellow, and orange. I can't speak. Uh, mostly because they are a better price. The colored peppers are more expensive than green peppers anyway, and if you buy them in the three pack, they tend to be a little bit cheaper. My kids love snacking on these. I also got a bag of nectarines. Um, these aren't, well, they're probably pretty ripe. I got, oops, I got um, a box of these at Costco last time I was there, and they were so good. So I doubt they'll be that good, but I'm sure they'll still be delicious. I got a bag of limes to refill my citrus fruit. And then I was looking to see if my Aldi had pre-washed broccoli and cauliflower. They don't, I don't know if any Aldi has it. And so I just got a head of cauliflower and some broccoli. I wanna cut up some veggies this week. So there's a dip recipe that I printed off like, I swear it's been like several months now for cottage cheese ranch dip where basically you take cottage cheese and put it in the food processor with like ranch seasonings and it makes like supposedly this really good ranch dip. I don't know, I'm gonna wait to try it. So hopefully I can get that done this week. Um, I got a bag of baby carrots. I have so many garbanzo beans in my pantry. I need to make hummus and that would be good with that. And then I got the kids some mandarins. I love getting these at Aldi too because they're just a great price there and I find that they're good quality. Kira is actually going to band camp uh, a couple days this week and um, she is gonna have to pack a lunch. So that will be fun. A fun fact, I was also in band camp when I was in high school because I was in color guard. So band camp is very exhausting if you've ever been. Okay, I got some cottage cheese. So this is the 1% low fat cottage cheese from Aldi. So the reason I got this is because I had the uh, higher fat cottage cheese from Walmart. And I thought if I did half and half this for the ranch dip, then that would make like a 2% low fat cottage cheese. So that's the reason I got that. I got some of the mozzarella snacking cheeses. I think I got four packages of these. Connor loves these. I can't find them anywhere but Aldi. So every time I have them, every time I'm there and they have them, I stock up because like I said, I can't find them anywhere else other than Costco and I don't go to Costco all that often. Other cheeses I got. I got some smoked Gouda. So you guys have probably seen me make before. I don't know, maybe not. I've made it a couple times on my channel. Do you know the smoked mozzarella pasta salad that you can get at Whole Foods? It is like legitimately my favorite pasta salad ever. 
I hardly ever get to a Whole Foods, but I was at one last week and I got some of it and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I love this. I need to look at the recipe. I wanna to try to make it a little bit lighter. I can't remember exactly what's in the dressing, so maybe I'll use light mayo and some Greek yogurt, but I do have some cooked penne pasta in the refrigerator that was left over from some pasta we had the other night, so I'm thinking I may make that this week. Lots of plans, we'll see if we execute. Um, I got some Swiss cheese. Adam was saying today that he likes Swiss cheese on his sandwiches and we have ham in the fridge. So I thought that we would use that for lunches this week. Feta cheese, I always get this when I'm at Aldi, even if I'm not gonna use it right away. I don't really, I mean, I feel like I've been going to Aldi more often lately, but for the most part, I get groceries delivered from Walmart. This is good until December. So this will stay good for quite a while in my refrigerator. Um, I got some beef hot dogs. We were gonna grill out tonight for dinner, but I decided to make something quicker, so we'll probably do it sometime this week, tomorrow night, hamburgers and hot dogs. So I got a package of these, and then we needed more turkey for Kira for wraps and sandwiches this week for her lunches, so I just got this uh, Oven Classic turkey breast. It comes in these half pound packages. It's pretty good, I've bought it before. I also picked up some of the Panera Mexican style street corn chowder. I noticed the last time I was at Panera, I didn't get soup, but I noticed that they had this on the menu. However, I don't believe I've ever tried it before. So let me know if you guys have tried this. They also had the broccoli cheese. Sometimes they have the potato soup. That's the two they had today. I really love these little Panera soups. I think they're like the perfect portion with a salad, like a bagged salad for lunch during the week. And this corn chowder only has 200 calories. So I figured that would be good. I have some tortilla strips in the pantry I can put on that. And then I also got some salmon. So have you guys seen these recipes where they do air fryer salmon bites with like kind of like a bang bang sauce? So basically you cut salmon into like cubes, you air fry it, and then you make, you know, like bang bang shrimp, except you make the sauce and then you dip the salmon in that. I don't know, it just seems like it would be really good and I've been wanting to try it. I found Aldi had the chicken dipping sauce, so I assume this is like the Chick-fil-A knockoff. This actually has less calories per serving than the regular Chick-fil-A sauce, so I thought this would be good to have on hand. Connor likes this with his nuggets. I've also been getting the Real Good Foods um, chicken bites, which you can get at Walmart. They're actually low carb, but they're really good in the air fryer. I've showed them a couple times like during my What I Eat in a Week videos, and I thought this would be good <laughs> with that, like totally a Chick-fil-A at home type thing. And then for when we do the burgers and hot dogs, I also got a can of baked beans. I don't know if I've ever gotten baked beans from Aldi before. I feel like I have, but it's been a while. I normally buy Bush's baked beans, but I feel like if they're not that good, I can doctor them up <laughs> with you know brown sugar or barbecue sauce or something. So hopefully they're okay. I also like to get the individual bags of chips at Aldi when I can find them there, their brand name. Uh, I decided to get the Bold Mix this time. We haven't had this one in a while. Uh, my kids like Funyuns. They also like Hot Cheetos. I have just recently tried salt and vinegar chips again and I like them. Um, so I thought we would try this one for now. Um, I also have to bring snacks for um, band camp a couple days this week. So I don't know, maybe I'll go back and get a couple boxes of those. I'm not sure how many kids are gonna be there. It's probably gonna be a lot. Okay, I also got a box of waffle cones. So sometimes in the summer, I just think it's fun for the kids to have like ice cream cones <laughs> after dinner. So I ended up getting the waffle cones from Aldi and then I put this in the freezer already, but I just got a container of the chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. So we will have that. And then the other ice cream thing I got were these uh, dipped sandwich cookies. Chocolate chip ice cream sandwich between two cocoa cookies dipped in cocoa glaze with hazelnut pieces and wafer crumbs. That's a mouthful. I put these in the freezer too. Um, these are pretty good. I'd say they're a pretty good size for 170 calories. That's not bad. I think the only other thing I got that I put in the freezer was these um, honey battered chicken breast tenders. These are like the closest that I have found to McDonald's nuggets <laughs> like that you can make at home. Obviously they don't taste exactly the same, but if you air fry these, they taste pretty close to McDonald's nuggets and what you need to do is next time you go to McDonald's you ask for extra barbecue sauce and then you keep it in your fridge and then you can have copycat McDonald's at home. I also got some brioche buns. 
um, for burgers. We used some of them for the chicken sandwiches that I made tonight. And then I also got some hot dog buns for the hot dogs. Okay, so I got some treats for the dogs. They just came back inside, so I guess I can give them some. These are the, I like how it says, beef flavored made with real beef. I guess they probably can't say they're all beef if they have chicken in there or something. Here's one treat. All right, so let's put those in the container for them. Diet Coke, I got a case of Diet Coke. I just saw on TikTok the other day. I don't watch TikTok that often. Like, I find that if I go on there and start watching it, it's like a black hole for me. Sometimes Adam will send me a TikTok and then I watch it and then I'll like scroll for a little bit and then I have to get off, otherwise it's too much. Anyway, she made, she was like, this is how you make the perfect iced, or this is how you make the perfect Diet Coke for your afternoon work break. And so she had like the little pebble ice machine. She put the Diet Coke in there. She had a package of True Lime. She stirred it up. She's like, ooh, this is so good. And ever since I saw that, I'm like, I need some Diet Coke. So I can do that with my True Lime. Uh, and then this is like a new limited edition, you know, these special Coke things. This is a Coke Zero One Ultimate. Limited edition Coke Zero. I don't know, Adam looked at it. He said it's some video game. I have no idea what it is. I tasted it. I don't, I don't, my problem with these is like, I'm not sure what exactly they're supposed to taste like. Like there, wasn't there like a Dream World one or like a Star Bright one? I don't know. I mean, I buy them just to try them, but I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. Okay, I got a couple of candles. So um, I have been waiting I'll probably put an order in tonight, but I've been waiting for another sale on Bath and Body Works candles because those are my favorite. But I am not paying full price. I'm not paying $25 per through at candle. That's ridiculous. When I was at Aldi, they have these. These aren't Bath and Body Works, but they're not bad. So this one is Bali Surf. Kind of smells kind of like beachy, coconutty. And then this one is Cherry Limeade Fizz. I got the last one. This one smells really good, but kind of citrusy and fresh. We also needed some more uh, Febreze for the bathroom. This is the Downy April Fresh, which this is my favorite kind of scent beads, so I'm very excited. This is this is what 40 is. You get very excited about air freshener. And then they had these like uh, organizer acrylic things. Do you think I need this? I mean, probably not, but I thought it looked useful, so I got it. <laughs> So I might use this to organize pens or I might use it in my bathroom closet to organize like some cosmetics or something. I'm not sure yet, but isn't it pretty? I like the gold and the clear. They had a couple of other different like desk organizers there also. Okay, I think that's everything that I got from Aldi. I feel like I'm missing something, but maybe not. Okay, hi V. Um, I got some arugula. I love arugula in my salads. I love putting it on avocado toast. I love putting it on like, if I make a quiche, I'll like dress some arugula with lemon juice and salt and pepper and put it on top. It's hard for me to find here where I live in the middle of nowhere, Iowa. So I went to Hy-Vee and got some of this. It was actually on sale for like $2.99, which is pretty cheap. And then I got some light mayo. Um, I just got this in case I wanna use it for the pasta salad in place of regular mayo. This was on sale for 88 cents. Unfortunately, it was limit one, but anytime there's marinara sauce on sale, you can bet I'm taking advantage of that because we will use it at some point. This is the Pace uh, Queso Blanco. So I really like this for like my taco flavored bowls, but typically I get the regular like yellow cheese. They didn't have that in stock. Still, it's 45 calories for two tablespoons, so definitely not bad. They had pizza sauce on sale for, I wanna say this was like 59 cents. Um, I actually have a pizza crust in the pantry that I can use this with, so I decided to pick that up. And then, or I guess if I don't use it for that, I can always mix it in with spaghetti sauce. And then, yes, because I need one more freaking cottage cheese. <laughs> it was actually all out of cottage cheese. So I ended up getting this from uh, hy V because my favorite cottage cheese is either the AE Dairy or the Good Culture. So they have that there. And then, uh, okay, so have you seen this uh, chick on TikTok that eats like cottage cheese with mustard and chicken sausages and raw vegetables and she puts it all together in a bowl? I saw that on TikTok. <laughs> Apparently there's like a Facebook group for it. And then, you know, once you watch something on TikTok, it keeps like giving you more and more videos about it. And I'm like, 
I, I mean, I can kind of see how that would be good. So I'm like, okay, I have to try it for myself. So I'm gonna try it this week. I'm not like the hugest fan of chicken sausages, but I've had these before and they're good. These are the Adele's pineapple and bacon smoked chicken sausage. Um, I should have looked at the calories on these. They are kind of high, 210 for one link. Okay, whoops, I should have gotten a different kind. Okay, well, that's fine. So chicken sausage. I got the cottage cheese. I think I have everything to make the stupid cottage cheese bowl. Oh, and then you know what else I saw? They blend cottage cheese with mustard in like a blender. And what do they do? Dip veggies in it and it tastes like a deviled egg dip. I don't know, cottage cheese is having like its moment, which is fine with me because cauliflower already had its moment and I was not really into that. Anyway, uh, potatoes. So I, Always love to keep potatoes on hand because if you don't know what to have for a side for dinner, make baked potatoes. These were on sale, a five pound bag of potatoes for two bucks, I think $1.99. So I could not pass that up, definitely. And then they also had Lunchables on sale. Uh, what do they have, six for nine, which is crazy price. And I always keep these on hand for my kids, especially during the summer or even during the school year because sometimes I get up and I don't have time to pack them lunch. I just throw this in their lunch box. Uh, so I got two chicken nuggets, two bologna, and two of the mozzarella and pepperoni. That's a really good price, you can't, can't pass that up. Okay, and then, uh, oh, they also had gravy packets. I wanna say this was like 29 cents, so I picked up a chicken gravy. I can always keep that in the pantry. Um, have you guys tried this? This is the Old El Paso Zesty Ranch. I thought this would be good either on like tacos or burritos or a burrito bowl as well and I just made some slow cooker chipotle chicken so I'll have that for like burrito bowls this week so that will be good on that and then I got some yogurt um, in case I want this for like a bedtime snack this week I love to do yogurt bowls with fruit and a little bit of special K or granola um, the Dan and Light and Fit is one of my favorites it's only 80 calories 12 grams of protein I got Greek I got Greek I'm just reading the package. Um, I got strawberry cheesecake. Can you hear it? I was playing video games downstairs, it's very loud. Uh, strawberry cheesecake, peach. Peach is a good one. You know what's good with peach? Blueberries, I don't have any blueberries. Oh, I think I have blueberries in the freezer. Anyway, for the blueberries with the peach yogurt, it's really good. And then I got lemon meringue. I haven't had that one in a long time, so I thought that would be good too. So I think that's everything that I got this week um if i haven't already i will be posting a weekend prep video soon where i will be showing you my meal plan for the week um so stay tuned for that see what i'm gonna make <laughs> with all of this but thank you so much for watching if you want to see the top 10 items that i always buy when i go to aldi you can click on this video right here